Welcome back to TCM. I'm Dave Carger. Up next on this Saturday afternoon is MGM's take on the story of the Pilgrim's Journey to America on the Mayflower. From 1952, starring Spencer Tracy and Gene Tierney, it's Plymouth Adventure. The screenplay was adapted from a 1950 novel by Ernest Gabler called The Voyage of the Mayflower. And in this lavish, fictionalized Hollywood version, Spencer Tracy stars as the ship's captain who falls in love with Gene Tierney, the beautiful wife of a Puritan leader. The production was spearheaded by MGM's new studio boss, Dory Sherry, who had just replaced Louis B. Mayer. Sherry was inspired by the recent success of other historical adventures like King Solomon's Mines and Quo Vadis. He gave Plymouth Adventure the studio's top resources, including director Clarence Brown, screenwriter Helen Deutsch, and composer Miklos Roja. Over the course of his career, Roja earned 17 Oscar nominations, many of them for other historical adventures like Quo Vadis, and Ivanhoe. He won the Academy Award three times, most famously for his score for the 1959 epic Ben-Hur. Behind the camera on Plymouth Adventure was another Oscar winner, cinematographer William H. Daniels, who was famous in the 1920s and 30s as Greta Garbo's favorite cameraman at MGM. Despite that reputation, Daniels went on to win his one and only Academy Award for a gritty, realistic film that was totally unlike anything he made with Garbo, 1948's The Naked City. In addition to all of this talent, Dory Sherry put MGM's special effects team to work, designing impressive sequences for the ocean voyage, and the film went on to win the Oscar for Best Special Effects. From 1952, also starring Van Johnson, here is Plymouth Adventure. To direct Plymouth Adventure, MGM studio boss Dory Sherry assigned Clarence Brown to the project. Brown was a longtime veteran at the studio, but may have been an odd choice for this production. He was best known for his early work with Greta Garbo, including romantic dramas like Flesh and the Devil from 1926 and Anna Karenina from 1935. But Clarence Brown also made a handful of popular family films that captured the American pioneer spirit, like Ah Wilderness, Intruder in the Dust, and The Yearling. Dory Sherry felt that Plymouth Adventure fit into this category and that Clarence Brown would pull it off well. The film also reunited Brown with cinematographer William H. Daniels, who had shot nearly all of Greta Garbo's films. Unfortunately, even with all of this talent attached to the production, the movie was considered a box office flop. The experience of making the film was also so exhausting for Clarence Brown that he retired after finishing it, ending a 26-year tenure at MGM. During that time, he racked up six Oscar nominations, including for two films with Greta Garbo, as well as National Velvet and the yearling. Coming up, another Hollywood version of American history, The Texas Revolution, in a 1956 Western starring Joel McRae. Next on TCM, the first Texan, then meet me in St. Louis, and later, The Gunfighter, Ethan's quick on the draw, tonight.